All right, and I am live. Thank you so much for joining me, Jaya. I see you commenting already. It will be creepy, and I am hoping so. Um, whatever is in store for me, I am looking forward to it. Um, as you may remember from last time, we um, were tempo morphing into the past and um, learning how to forge signatures back from when Edna was a child. Oh, pink is totally your color. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. I must admit it took me like a week to really um, get the vibe of the hair color and now I'm like happy with it. So thank you so much. All right. Let's load the recent most, the, the, the latest version we can talk of the game and continue going. So this is gonna be interesting. Back to childhood, back to learning how to forge signatures, which I've only been trying to do since like day two of the game. So here we go. And as I pointed out last time, they're writing with their left hand. So whether or not they're actually, you know, thinking about that as they animate it, who really knows? All right. How many slave slots do we have left? Um, I'm pretty sure you can just keep on scrolling. So I'm sure we're going to be fine. Oh, I keep on looking at the wrong part because I moved the camera. Yeah, camera's down here staring you in the eye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Um. The teacher must be anemic or very cold, says Tokyo. Hi, glad um, glad that you're joining us, Princess Inya. Um, we, we can ask questions about why Mr. Horde brushes that color. Let's look at him. All right, so that's in the discard. I forget, okay. okay I'm already at Harvey, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm already on selecting Harvey, cool. Classrooms were fucking cold trying to remember. I remember sometimes classrooms being really really warm too but then we were at an old church building for our private school and sometimes the AC was just terrible. So globe. The world is too big to spend my time locked up in one place. I mean I feel that too I say in my own life. Okay chalkboard. Oh, that's... I'm more of an art rabbit, not a math bunny. That's actually pretty... I guess I don't know how old Edna is. I was going to talk about how challenging that math was. But I guess I don't know how old she is and whether or not that would be appropriate for her age. And Tokyo, they were mostly too hot for you for classrooms. It's interesting to hear. I, I've never heard people say they were the right temperature. Harvey, I like his walking animation, especially forward. You know, that little boing, 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 boing. It is pretty cute. Okay, Mr. Hornbrush. Oh, chalkboard. I need to put the chalkboard in there. X plus Y. It's just X plus Y that is so redundant. Okay, um, Mr. Hornbrush. This is Edna's teacher, Mr. Hornbush. Hornbush. Bush, not Hornbrush. My, my apologies. Is there a school? There's a school. Hajaya, the walking animation is cute, looks Muppet-like. Oh, that's a cute way of putting it. To be or not to be. Okay, that's a good reference with the school. I can appreciate that. Can I go through the fucking door? The fun begins beyond this door. It shall, but we're gonna look at all the shit in this room first. I can make out a pattern. Map. Alfred. Alfred is such a moron. Okay, I can look at the note. It's a note from Addis, Edna's father. That seems important. Anything else I can look at? Oh, more shit. Okay. Oh, I can go through the window. <laughs> Flush me. Sorry, allergies are still um, being a pain in the patootie. Um, I'm assuming the door's locked. Oh, I can actually fucking. The fun begins beyond the this door, door. And show it to Edna. Okay, whatever. Why not? Alfred looks like he hit a growth spurt. Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell since Edna's all curled up and he's sort of like leaning over all ridiculously, but maybe. Okay, um. Edna looks unhappy. I can actually put Edna in there. That's amazing. Okay. And then hole. Oh, fuck. I can go through the hole too. Okay, let's just show Edna the shit I have in front of her. Okay, the game's not letting me switch to Edna. So I guess I just toss these all straight to her. 
Oh, fuck allergies. My eyes have been itching. Oh, I am so sorry. Itching is the worst. Somehow I haven't had as much itchiness this year, but it's been so much sneezing and I hate it. We should venture out into the world. Shh. Later, Harvey. Mr. Hornbush reminds me of the fish Mattis gave you for Easter. Shh. Later, Harvey. You flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> Mr. Hornbush! Edna is snickering again! Oh my gosh. Pull yourself together, Edna. I do appreciate how um, obnoxious Alfred's English voice actor is. Like, they got the right person for that. Do you remember the skull? Shh. Later, Harvey. I'm assuming we're gonna giggle every other one. Let's go on a treasure hunt! Shh! Later, Harvey. Alfred. Look at that idiot! <laughs> Mr. Hardbush! There we go. Edna is snickering again! He's so fucking loud. Pull yourself loud. together, Edna! Here's the note. This is actually probably important. What does that piece of paper say? Oh, it's a note from my father. He just forgot to put marmalade on my sandwich again. Or not. Door. We gotta get you out of here. Yeah, a Shh. very big tattletale. Later, Harvey. How are you, Edna? Shh. Later, Harvey. Okay, so now let's go to the fucking hole. I don't think I can go through a hole. Oh, I can look through the hole. There's a letter. And, okay, so... It's really handy that the cupboard has a peephole in exactly the right position. This cloak slightly reminds me of, like, retro carb in San Diego. <laughs> There's a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. Okay, are we going to forge his signature? Let's see. There's a hole in the cupboard. Shh. It's sort of nice that the game allows us to play as Harvey come to realize that it is sort of cool that we do have with the tempo morphing we can actually switch to harvey hey edna i spotted a letter in mr hornbush's coat pocket i'm sure it's part of a conspiracy Shh. okay whoa why is there a circus right outside of your fucking classroom Hey, there's a new slide at the playground. Hey, there's a new slide at the playground. So I can go out. Let's... Hey, there's a new slide okay. at the playground. The water looks inviting. Jaya, I'm thinking this memory may not be reliable. I mean, it's more grounded in reality than lots of the crap that we've seen in the, um... Asylum itself. In Tokyo, it's a really interesting story, dynamic, and fascinating way to explore the past. Yeah, it is sort of an interesting way. It definitely gets rid of the, you know, um, show don't tell problem because it makes us live it through, which is sort of cool. This can't be true. There's even a Ferris wheel. So we're gonna fake a note so that we go out to the part, the circus. I a merry-go-round! There was never anything like that in the village before. That ice cream parlor didn't used to be here. So I'm basically probably they gonna seem to have completely Edna new flavors. With all these things, and then make her be like, "Yeah, I need to forge shit." I didn't even know there was a circus in town. Or someone's house is getting tented for termites. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's it. Okay, ice cream stand, mini to playground, and then out. Let's go out. Are you not gonna let me go out? Walk to out, there we go. Oh, that's what they need by out, okay. Edna, Edna, Edna! They have a new slide at the playground! What? I've gotta go there. Yep, we're tempting I her. can't risk anyone breaking my record in slalom sliding. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Oh, shut up, Alfred. Edna's talking to herself again, and I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. Oh, shut up. Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson. 
I'll give you an official warning. On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Do we want to put her in the cupboard, or is that a way to screw up the game? Edna! 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 There's a Ferris wheel outside! No... That's impossible! I saw it! That's not fair! Not fair, not fair, not fair! Mr. Hardbush! Oh, Mr. how Hardbush! did I ever guess that Edna is gonna talking again. to herself again! And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! It is interesting that they specifically point out I Edna's talking to I have to ask herself. you to behave, young lady! That is the second warning, Since Edna. You know, um, Interrupt the lesson one more time, and I'll put you in the cupboard. Animal. I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Because the thing I always imagine is that her um, imagination is supplying Harvey with his voice. So her talking to herself is a nice little touch. Because, of course, you know, Alfred can't hear her talk. Her, She can't hear, you know, Harvey. Princess Tokyo, he makes my ears and brain bleed. He really does. Again, VA did a perfect job making him sound so fucking obnoxious. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a new ice cream parlor! Do they have blancmange ice? From the looks of it, they've got everything! Alright, cover time. Which is terrible. I'd die for an ice cream. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. He's Hardbush! way too excited about Edna's telling him Edna's talking He's like to herself happy. again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna! That's it! Enough is enough! Into the cupboard! Yeah, you shouldn't be doing Come that on, as a teacher. Move it! That is but very problematic. No back talk now! Little shit indeed. <laughs> Alright. She looks unhappy. There's a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm. I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. Okay, so I need to get something that's gonna be light so that you can see it. Um, none of those things really seem to... grab the same things again just in case but I suspect it's gonna be that note right there did I get everything yes Alfred Rubble's being a prick he really does all right note to Edna what's this piece of paper in your bag it's not really important my father forgot to put out breakfast for me. Let's go on a treasure hunt! Wouldn't I have to get out of this cupboard first? Alfred is an old snitch! Yep. A snitching frog. <laughs> we gotta get you out of here. Yeah, this seems to be the story of my life. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a circus in town! Great. Thank you very much. And I'm stuck in a cupboard. Maybe you should ask Mr. Hornbush to let you take part in the lesson again. I can't believe that you, of all people, would say that, Harvey. Why? We can wreak more havoc that way. That, of course, is true. Mr. Hornbush! Oh, so that's how we get the letter. Okay. So now what do we need to do? How are you, Edna? Shh. Let mm, indeed. Okay. Because I feel like I've done everything. Because I can go to the window. There's nowhere 
else to go to. Okay, she's got the letter though, so maybe I can talk to her about the letter again, and that's the trick. Let's try. Hey, Edna! I spotted a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. I'm sure it's part of a conspiracy. It's just be the same thing. Shh. Yeah, she didn't take the letter with her, which is weird. trouble again and then use the sun somehow that sounds weird but I don't know what else to do thanks yeah I'll let you know if I get stuck but I am not quite yet at a point where I feel stuck so let's distract her again Edna, Edna I spent Mr. Ha Ed Edna out on this I'm sorry Miss distract Edna. her Miss Edna I, I have that interrupt I'm sorry Miss Distract her, number three. Edna, I'm this. Mr. Edna, and I. Edna, that's, come on. But, no, but. All right, there we go. <laughs> Rufus stole a star, why the fuck not use the sun as a lamp? Damn it, I hate that reasoning, because you're not wrong. All right, sun. Edna, Edna, Edna! It's the warmest day of the year today. Great, thank you very much. And I'm stuck in a cupboard. Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm. I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. Because that's obviously something that I need to fix, is the darkness. We're gonna try the sun yet fucking again. I mean, I've been looking for, like, other light sources, but I haven't seen anything yet. Edna! Ed Great! Okay, that didn't work. The thing is, I feel like I, like, am I missing any locations? I feel like I've seen everything. tempt her with things again and then she gets determined enough I didn't even know there I didn't even know there was a circus I in town a circus already Slide. hey like a pen or something. Let's skedaddle! I'd love to. Maybe you should- I can't believe it- Why? That, Mr. Ho okay, I want her to take the freaking letter. I'm guessing it's still in there. How are you? Shh. We 
gotta just... I feel like all the dialogue is the same and I'm just missing something. Edna, Edna. What's that? Mr. Hart? Edna's yeah. talking to herself again and I can't... Edna, I'll honor... I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna, I feel like getting her into the cupboard is progress. Having her look at the letter is progress. But I don't see that I have tried anything yet that I... Can I talk? I can't talk to Alfred. I can't talk to Mr. Hornbush. The question is, what am I missing? I feel like I've got everything. All right, Jaya, I will ask for a hint or just an explanation. What am I missing? Is there a room that I'm missing or something that I have not selected? Or is it some really ridiculous combination in order that I have to do when Edna's in the cupboard? Does that question make sense? So don't tell me the answer, but let me know if there's anything I am missing. So I have everything I need. Okay. So it's just the order of how I get those things? It's a ridiculous one thing. Okay. That's good to know. And I gather it's in the cupboard, right? It's a note from Ed. Okay, it's in the cupboard. Okay, cool. I'll get her in the cupboard and then we'll try to exhaust the possibilities. I thought I already had exhausted the possibilities and again I tried the sun so I don't know why the sun didn't work okay okay I've got everything here I love Mary this Edna blah, 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 blah. Uh, that I'm morning. sorry Edna Alright there we go no. So let's see So I gather Letter first Or maybe actually the, Like the sun I tried the sun first Um, I gather it's letter first And then something I could only show Edna the things. As much as I'd like to be able to, like, combine fucking items, I can't. Edna! Edna! Great! So that's the warmest day of the year. See, that doesn't work. the sun again. Exhausting all the possibilities in this room. Unless it's like use the skull to make a light. I don't know. Is there a way to switch to Edna is the thing. Because it looks like I can't switch to Edna. And that's where I feel a little trapped. I'll let you know if I need another hint. Can you reach the show? Hmm, it's much too. Because the game doesn't let me switch to Edna. And see, here's all the possibilities. Yeah, they said at the end of the last stream it's only Harvey, this flashback. Yeah, that makes it a little frustrating and difficult. Because I can't combine things. Edna! 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 Great! So that, that warmest thing, see, the sun doesn't work. She looks unhappy. She look. She look. I can't do anything about Edna right there. So I need to get her to be able to read this. We could paint the skull, wouldn't I? Let's, wouldn't I? Edna, great. Edna, great. 
so she has to figure out how to pour something. Edna, great. Edna, great. Ow, a snick. <laughs> What's the? If my father. F we should first. I just. Want All right, Jaya. Um, you don't like the answer? That's weird. Because I've done everything. Is it a particular order that I have to show things in? No, okay. There's one improbable thing. Showing her the same thing over and over again and somehow it makes something different. Edna, bad grave. All right, what is it? You can tell me because I've done the same thing. It's the one thing I haven't tried, but I have tried everything. I'm pretty sure I showed her the door, the hole. Okay. Oh, I see. I get it. I understand. Actually, that makes sense. You could pass the letter through the hole. There we go. That then makes sense. Then I can Thank read you. it for you. Good yeah, that, idea. That, that was silly of me. Okay. This is sense. incredible. The letter is from Dr. Marcel, addressed to Mr. Mm. Hornbush. The doctor is paying him money to hold you back in school. And he stresses that under no circumstances are you to be allowed to leave class early. Especially, and this one's underlined, when the weather is good. I can hardly believe it. Obviously, Dr. Marcel has been carrying out a personal vendetta against me for a long time. He'll pay for this. This all seems a bit illogical to me, but I've seen it written in black and white. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. All right. That's re You said it, Harvey. Okay, what did he say? That's really, really strange. strange you okay. So now I assume we can go back to classes and something is going to change. But Tokyo, I highly doubt that's what the letter said. <laughs> I mean, well, we got to take our word for it. Okay. Maybe you should ask I get why that Mr. All right. We saw Dr. Marcel's signature. Which is helpful. Isn't that your f Yes. Well, how about we create our own little note for Mr. Hornbush? There we go. In your father's name. You mean we'll forge his handwriting? We'll just borrow it. After all, borrow you have plenty of time in here to practice it. Or did you have other plans? Hmm, you're right. This High really five. sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll even manage to get out soon enough to enjoy the weather. All right, we did it. All right. That was not too bad. Okay. Outside of the one really obvious solution, that really should have been obvious to me that I didn't notice. All right, that was interesting. That's how you learned to forge signatures back then. You got so good at it that after a while you could forge anyone's signature. Just by looking at it. Yeah. I think I could still do that. I really hope this is going Here to help go. me. This class is, is not exactly I, what as far I as call pointing, one of my like, favorite goes, it makes memories. Sense. Okay. What a day that was. Say, Alfred, I forgot to do my homework again. Can I copy yours? Mr. Hornbush! Mr. Hornbush! And no. trying to copy from me again! Shh! You treacherous, stinking snake! We've seen everything I know about it! Well, I learned quite a lot. Look! That's Poozy! What a name. Harvey couldn't stand him. Poozy must kill Harvey. <coughs> Poozy must kill Harvey. Oh yeah, still his usual self, old Poozy. He's 
just behind safety glass. I could like smash safety Hello, glass. Hello, Poozy. Poozy must kill Harvey. <laughs> Poozy must kill Harvey. Oh yeah. Let Poozy Still out. Still his usual self, old Poozy. <laughs> oh dear. Look here, Harvey. Good old Poozy. Boo. Keep him in the safety glass. <laughs> I don't know, Look there how seems nicely to be nothing they dangerous about together. them. Just like the good old days. Nothing dangerous looking about Poozy. Hello, Poozy. Poozy. <coughs> Poozy. Oh, yeah. Free Poozy. <laughs> Alright, so there's a yo-yo, a jar of marbles, and a car. Alfred's yo-yo. Alfred was pretty clumsy with it. Yo-yos are hard. He couldn't even perform a single trick. I got, like, a few things down with yo-yos, but not too many good. Um, Can't do it. It's behind safety tricks. glass. Mo, looks like I haven't missed too much. Hello! Thanks for joining. We just finished up the flashback where Edna learned how to forge signatures again. So, we went back into the past, did a little childhood escapade, and now I am back in this room. Give it up, Alf. You'll always be a clumsy oaf. Look here, Edna! Yo-yo! 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 Look, Harvey, a yo-yo. Yeah, you always wanted to have this. Alfred didn't deserve it. He was a dabbling dilettante. Hey, half of those are mine. Hi, dear. Oh, shucks. Safety glass. After I've escaped, I'll come back to rescue you. Oh, shucks. Look, Harvey. Even more memories. Tokyo, okay, that was more of a hey, than I needed. There are some of your marbles in there. So, can you use them to tempo morph us? Afraid not. You were never really <laughs> good at tossing marbles. Even Alfred could beat you. Oh, man, I and used we to all marbles. know what a clumsy oaf the pukey little toad was. Alfred always used to have the cooler toys, and he never let me play with them. Oh, you've just Maybe been around. Maybe that's because no you problems. always wanted to play smash him up. You well, think so? I could still say hello to you. <laughs> it's behind safe. Auto All graveyard. Right. Auto graveyard, inventory, Harvey with car. Does that remind you of anything, Harvey? Nothing that would help us. Let's keep on looking. All right, so safety glass. Can I smash anything with the safety glass? Can I? No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a small dent? Nah. Fine. Almost like I can magically use the key again. Stop that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Counterfeit signature. Let's I think we got everything in this room. So it is time to counterfeit a signature. And then we can go to the room where Pokey is at. And yeah, let's see. What room was the signature? It was upstairs, I believe. Go up again. Yeah, it was the top floor. Here we go. Tokyo, that's actually that's a really good point. Yeah, about she knows what memories are like being destroyed and doesn't want to do it. Yeah, damn, you you're getting deep there. I hadn't even connected that, but it's true. Yeah, she's not gonna want that. All right, let's use Harvey counterfeit signature with a diploma. Okay, I think I could learn to forge this Man, signature. Man, it's so satisfying to finally be able to do that. Sometime later. That should do it. I can make an exact copy of the signature now. Holy crap. Well, um, that that room has been very edna -ed. Holy crap. Um, Edna, I think you're showing your marks there a little bit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Mo's like, uh... Well, I guess we don't respect Marcel anyway, so, you know, why not completely graffiti up his entire office? All right, then. So then we've got the signature. Dr. Marcel's signature with the... There's the form. Dr. Marcel's signature with the form. Very good idea. I'll just sign the form with Dr. Marcel's name. 
Yeah, like, I have no sympathy for Dr. Marcel either, as you guys have pointed out. He's a terrible butt fart, so, like, you know, his office gets ruined. Who cares? He shouldn't even have an office. He shouldn't be practicing medicine. Like, yikes. Yeah, like, this guy should not even be a doctor in the first place. I do not care if I fuck up your shit. Um, where's the room? I think it was around here. It was around the cafeteria area. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Very interesting, Mr. Pokey. And this object interaction you were talking about, is this happening in this room right now? Yes. Are you even listening? All of us in here are nothing more than... Hold on a second. Yes, what can I do for you? Why don't you come a little closer? This is the group therapy session for video game designers. I'm very looking if forward to this. If you don't have Edna a signed does. registration, you can't attend. What is Edna gonna do? I have a signed registration! I have a signed registration. Very well then. Please have a seat with the others. Here we go. Let's see what the fuck happens. Okay. Oh, she's got Harvey! Everybody's That's adorable! Ready. Would you, as a new member of our group, like to begin, please? Okay. I'd like to see how all this works first. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it careful. Although I don't know if saying the right or wrong things is gonna change much. I love her eyelash glasses. Yeah, that's a good point. Her eyelashes are like fly. Like when she blinks, you can see the eyelashes disappearing. Actually, no, they go down here. See, you can, that's so amazing. She has just such really fucking long eyelashes that you see them behind the glasses. Although honestly, that means the eyelashes would rub up against the glasses and that would be uncomfortable as fuck. All right, well, I, I'd like to see how all this works I'd first. I'd like to see how all this works first. Very well then. Let's proceed from where we More were pokey before dialogue. we were please, interrupted. Please, please. Pokey, would you introduce yourself once again? Yeah, alright. My name is Pokey. And I had the nerve to believe I could design <laughs> an adventure game in just a few months with just a handful of co-workers and at the same time draw over 100 backgrounds and all of the animations oh, you for guy. my graduate thesis. I see. Oh my god. Would gosh, you please tell us amazing. something about your formative years? <laughs> I was always picked next to last during Mo, gym class. Yeah. Next to last. Very interesting. Go ahead, Mo. Next question. What color would your pet have been <laughs> if it had been a chicken? Ochre. Ochre. I see. The case is just clear. Says that without thinking. You are suffering from delusions of grandeur. <sighs> Thank you. I I think I'm cured now. What? That's supposed to be the therapy? Why don't you give it a try? It really helped me a lot. Are we ready now? What we? You mean me? Okay, why not? Would you be so kind as to introduce yourself to the group? If that's necessary. Hello, group. Um, Flatula Buzzlet Flane? Um, okay, I have a feeling that would get me kicked out of the session right away, so I'm gonna go with my actual name. Yeah. I am Edna Conrad. Yes, I see. Would you please tell us something about your formative years? The Aztecs always ransacked my friend. Okay, you know what? We're gonna give the crappy answers just to see what happens. The Aztecs always ransack my fridge at night. The refrigerator. I see. Let's move on to the next question. What color would your pet have been? Okay, I double a took haddock. a haddock. I really double took there. I'm like, is the game calling me out? You know, Pokey just did his fourth wall break. Is it now breaking the wall for me? Of course it's not, but definitely gave my brain a little bit. Wait, what haddock? How, how do you know my name? Run away, run away, run away. Um, all right, um, eggshell. Although Mocha Octarine Polka Dotted is a pretty awesome answer too. 
Eggshell. Eggshell. Well, well. The case is clear. You are constantly trying to okay, tell me fairy tales. Work. If you're not willing to work with me, I can't cure you. You'd better leave. Okay. Puh, who needs her? So we need to figure out a way how to get the right answers. Dear Pokey knows a true devotee. Shut up. Shut up. 30,000 lines on the first act alone. What was I thinking? Yes, we're Very dialogue. interesting, Mr. Pokey. And but he's please back hold to on a second. Yes, what can I do for you now? Do you want to sit in with us once again? Hi. Adi That's Beppo. what I'm here for. Very well. Please take a seat with the others again, will you? Would you be so kind as to introduce yourself once again? What? Again? Well, all right. All right, let's give the all the nice answers on the top and see what happens. I am Edna Conrad. Yes, I see. Would you please tell us some... I always got locked up in the basement. In the basement? I see. I love how Let's only move her hand on to the next question. The what color would your pet have been if it I had been a turnip. a turnip? Um, why is it a turnip now? Is that relevant? I don't know. We're going with mocha anyway. Mocha octarine. Polka dotted. Polka dotted mocha octarine? Well, well. The case is clear. Please don't tell me fairy tales. You are constantly trying to tell me fairy tales. If you're not willing to work with me, I can't cure you. You'd better leave. Puh, who needs her? Pet turnip is best pet. Okay, but, but, you know, Haddock. Haddock as- Oh, Kashi, no, 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 I am not a pet. I, I just realized I should not say that before I invited, like, crap upon myself. Especially from a certain Tyrunia. Um... Okay, so I'm guessing I'm not going to go anywhere with that. Therapy session. Hmm, what else do I need to do? I need to figure out how to get the fucking key. There is actually a pet tournament in World of Warcraft. Alright, do tell. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time with all the bad answers and just see if that magically changes something. Very, but please, yeah. Do you want to? That's what I'm. Very. Okay. Would you be? What? I, I am Flatula Buzzle Twine. Ah, I see. Would you please tell us? The Aztec. The Reef. Let's. What? And that said, Haddock. Okay, that's interesting. So, the Aztec one seems to change whether it, it's... Okay, so it's either every other for Turnip or, um... Haddock, or it goes with the Aztec. Eggshell. Eggshell, the case, you are... If you're... You'd bet... Okay. We're just gonna see right away... Puh, who needs... Right away which one it is. Just for game mechanic understanding. But yet you... That's what I- Would you be so kind as to- What? I- I am- uh, Would you please- Flatula, we're gonna say Aztecs again. The Az- the Let's move- What- And it is Haddock. Okay, so Mocha Octarine Polka Mocha Dottie. Octarine Po- The K- You are- If you'd be- Okay. So I'm guessing I need to figure need out somebody else who needs this session, and then I lie about their answers. Similar to how we have done in, um- other um, data like games for lying about things, such as a certain um, sugar puff and her love of the ballet. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, we're back to our spoon quest, I guess. It says, today everybody- Hot yippee! Okay, so back to finding where the fuck spoons are. Today is free choice day. Obviously, the chosen meals are arranged according to the seats. 
The order hasn't been made yet. So it sounds like something I have to do, doesn't Today, it? Today, up the order. I can't use it with the menu. Okay. Are there other items I could use the signature with? Captain Useless can forge his own signature! Nobody else can do that! Okay. And I know that there are no spoons in the obvious place, so fuck that. Okay, so, um, Tyrenia says, Okay, so a few years back, Blizzard added a pet gaming system. Um, instead of World of Warcraft, one of the pets they added in the expansion is called Terrible Turnip. Um, that's beautiful. I, I love the name. The lock. Which I remember the key does not work for. It doesn't fit here. I hate these things. If the lock... If the spoon is fucking in here, I'm gonna be so pissed. I mean, all gaming has a little bit of trial and error. I mean, unless it's like a really, really easy game. All of them are gonna have a little bit of trying to figure out what the solution is. It's free choice day in the cafeteria today. So, this ain't stuck yet. Nice! Somehow... plant-like. We're just gonna... If we go to that door, that means that we go to the other side of the building again. I don't know if I'm ready- <gasps> Fuck! I know where the spoon is! Shit! Uh-oh. Hey! It's prohibited to pass through here. I'm already gone. Not so fast, little lady. Alarm! Patient on the run! What's going on? A revelation, but I'm not sure how to get There's a patient on the we'll run! See. Where are all the others? Aren't Babbitt and Holger around? Isn't that something you yeah. should know? <laughs> Where are Babbitt and I've been Babbitt sitting here all day. Amazing. I don't know what else is going on, but obviously the whole building is in chaos since the doctor went out. Not well it's secured. just, uh... I've never dealt with an attempted escape before. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just put her in here I with like the others. I like how they didn't realize it was that supposed to be, be what I'm supposed to do. Be an attempted escape. Well, I guess you could say an attempted escape for that and still be grammatical. Whatever. There. You stay here till the doctor is back. I mean, Jai, it's up to you. If you don't like playing games blind without a walkthrough, that's Something totally fine. Something seems to have gone patently wrong here. But you know. It's ultimately how you end up enjoying games. For me, I think that a game is worth playing by actually going through and, you know, living it out. That way, you know, when you finally do come to an achievement, you have that satisfaction of, yes, I figured it out, or yes, I beat the enemy, or whatever it is. So, yeah, okay, here's where the fucking spoon's gonna fucking be. Because it's labeled spoon. and now we just have to ask how the fuck we get it. See? Right there. Spoon. There's a fucking spoon right fucking here. So, yeah. I mean, Jaya, they are a interesting um, creativity, but lots of point-and-click games have unintuitive solutions or bizarre solutions or something like that. So it's not that it lacks logic. It's just, you know, it takes a little bit of learning on how to play games like this. I would say. Okay, um, Harvey with the spoon. Look, Harvey, there's a shovel in this barrel. Um, Edna, that is a spoon. It's a shovel. Nonsense. Nonsense. Are you all right, Edna? Yeah, Tokyo, you're right. It's a different type of logic. Because it's definitely a logic. You just have to learn how to get into the logic. All, like, all video games have a logic system. And so, what? And all video game genres have a logic system. So the more that you play, the more that you learn it through, I feel like the easier it gets. So the more that I've played, especially Dadalic games, um, or Dadalic, I keep on forgetting how to pronounce it, the more that I've really gotten ingrained with, you know, understanding the point and click system and what sorts of solutions are going to be likely. So now I have to figure out how to get the fucking spoon. Spoon. 
You're not a spoon. You're a shameful shovel. But we're gonna call it a spoon to our friend. This is supposed to be a spoon? Hey! Don't touch that! So we that. have to distract them. That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house. If I stir this, I'm likely to dredge up poisonous gases. Alright, so the question is how do I get the spoon is now the question. The light switch? Can I do that fucking trick? I doubt it, but we're going to try the obvious solution first. Hey! Nope. That's the... Okay, in Tokyo, and everyone latches onto different logics naturally more easily, so what could be really illogical to some is plain as day to another. That's, I think that's really true, and I think that's why problem solving is such a fascinating thing to watch, is how easy some games are to some people. Like, I have one friend who's like, oh yeah, Deponio was no problem, and I sort of looked at them and like, I got stuck at a few parts, you know? Don't say that to me! <laughs> um... But then, you know, for other people, it'll be extremely difficult and they'd never figure it out with a walkthrough. And all of it's all, it's fine. Some of us get it intuitively. Some of us have to learn it. Some of us never get it. It's all fine. All right, so I have to figure out a sneaky way to get the fucking spoon. Hey, that's the... This is where the barkeeper mixes his drinks? I'd rather not. I like the tips of my fingers where they are. So this is going to be a hard solution because I have no... F I feel like I haven't gotten hints for the spoon. Whatever demons dwell in there, I'd better not wake them. No, wake the demons. Wake all the fucking demons. I'm afraid my retina might detach if I get too close. <laughs> Yikes. Look, Harvey. A barrel. So let's go and find the rest of the gun and some ammunition. That does not... Okay, so... I'm gonna look at everything in here again and see if I can find some sort of hint for the barkeep. Um, I guess I can talk to the barkeeper and see what the conversations are like. Barkeep? One drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? The spoon. Not another one. I'd rather go back to my cell voluntarily. Okay. Barkeep? Oh. I know he's just gonna say we don't serve a that coffee, here. please. It's not. Hey, that's the. So I have to distract the guy somehow. Is that it? Okay, there's a shelf. What's on the shelf? Those are not spirits. Those are detergents. Well, I guess most of them contain a fair amount of alcohol okay, anyway. Do I do something with the detergents? Like, you know, make the detergents explode? <laughs> make bombs out of the detergents? You know, get them all wet and so they like, you know, get all sudsy and stuff and the guy like freaks out. <laughs> what is this shelf trying to tell me? Nothing. No, no, tell me something, shelf. Tell me, shelf. This is not a self-serve facility. None of these are on the menu. I better keep the pot. This is going to be a challenging one. <laughs> At least I can use the mustard and the ketchup with fucking everything. Do you need some more ketchup? I've got plenty, thanks. How do you think I get the upper layer of my cherry banana smoothie so red? That's not cherry. It's not cherry, and please don't tell me the mustard's the banana. Do you need any more mustard? I've got plenty, thanks. How do you think I get the yep. low layer of oh, my cherry banana so smoothie so gross. yellow? Ugh. Okay, I did not need to know that. Okay, straw. What's the straw for? What do you think? It's to survive the stinky drink. In case of emergency, you can bypass the windpipe that way. It could Yikes. save your life by the third glass. Yikes. Okay. Are there any laundry-like items? Okay, so spoon, barrel, door, foosball table, bar stool. Why do depressed people always have to sit so high up? I'm not drunk enough to start a bar brawl now. The day is young. 
Oh, Rufus's bartending skills. And yet he has the audacity to say that he thinks he would be a good barkeeper. Okay, actually, that would be really interesting seeing him, like, try to be a barkeeper for a job. Like, not going to lie, I actually want to see that. Norm, how's life? <gasps> I could tell you stories. Though I'm afraid all of them involve Bia. What do you make of this, Harvey? I believe it is a jackal. More like a donkey. Let's settle for a jackass. Jackass? Come on, that's rude, Harvey. See? Rufus Bartender AU. See, we could actually argue that it could, A, actually have happened in canon briefly. Although I don't think so, since Rufus says, I always thought I had the makings of a bartender. Although, you know, maybe he, like, worked two days under Lonzo, and Lonzo was like, yikes, get away from me. Um, you know, even broke Lonzo's nonchalant um, demeanor or something. Or, you know, in our brother's AU, eyebrow wiggles, we could, you know, have a brief stint with barkeeping just for shits and giggles. There's, there are options. There are definitely options with which to do this. Have I done Harvey with a shelf? What do you think of this shelf, Harvey? I can't stand it. Let's knock it over. Ugh, damn, too heavy. Choice we'll have eyebrow to find wiggles. something yes. else to knock over then. Okay, so we'll have to find something else to knock over. So we knock over the barrel, I'm guessing. Okay, that actually seems like a hint. Does that seem like a hint to you guys? Let's guess that the barrel we need to knock over. I'd rather not. I'm afraid it might dissolve in there. I'd rather not. Although there's nothing I really think has the makings of being able to knock it over. It must violate environmental regulations. But on the other hand, my toenails probably do that too. So I'd better keep a low profile on that. I'd better not drink this. I have this terrible heartburn and... Coward! Phew, I was starting to worry. Alright, I haven't looked at the foosball table and the sign yet. Let's see if these are any hints. Ooh, this is so 80s. Why? I don't want to open an internet cafe. <laughs> you are so 80s. Ooh, this is... What do you think of the neon sign, Harvey? It's so it is an 80s. instrument of the light. Like me. What? I'm an instrument of light, too. For example, the light ordered me to eat moths recently. <laughs> thinky, thinky, thinky. Shelf. Okay, so foosball table, and then I'm guessing that's it. For a broken foosball hits. table. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. If you want to move foosball tables, you should play against meta games. You all play like you have broomsticks up your butts. It's broken, and there are no balls. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. Shall we pitch in for a game? Okay, swing foosball ice Harvey. Am I? So swing batter, is that like polo mallet? What are you doing there, Edna? Oops. I... I'm afraid I've forgotten the rules for foosball. We will reconstitute your memory, Edna. I promise. <laughs> okay, damn it. Um. What do I do to knock over a barrel? What do you do with an upright barrel? What do you do with an upright barrel? What do you do with an upright barrel? One you want it knocked over so that you can take the stupid fucking spoon. Um, da, 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 da. fucking fart. Um, okay, coin slot, shoot, lounge, chair. We're thinking through what I possibly can do. There's a coin slot. I can't do that again. I don't think anybody wants a stick. Fork, knife. 
knife. Don't put that aside. I'd rather not. Okay, so the one hint it could be is either knock it over, or he said it was the only spoon he could find. If we could find a replacement for him. I'd rather not. Do you need a fork? Definitely not. I'm managing a bar. I'm serving drinks here. And a fork just doesn't help people drink. Do you need a knife? Not in this life, I don't. I've already sliced up a million lemons. But won't they spoil? Turn green? Yes. Spoil? No. If you shave them every now and then, you can use them for years to come. All right. Jai, when you need a hint, let me know. Sure. Um, I'm not quite there yet, but I might be soon just for the simple um, task of um, keeping the game going on the stream. Hey, don't touch that. That's the only spoon I could... Because um, I definitely don't want to keep you guys sitting and waiting. Otherwise, I'd play the game a lot longer and try out all my own solutions. Um, I'd rather... But I might ask you semi -soon. This could be. So that's the stinky drink. Um... I'd better knock. It's likely to melt my... And in the end, it might eat through the bios. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Yeah, you on the lemons indeed. Okay. Alright, question for Ajaya. Do I have the item in my inventory I need to get the spoon? Maybe you should go to this therapy in my place. I'd love to, but they won't let me anymore. Does that mean you're cured? Not exactly. I ate the therapist's dog. Yummy doggy. Okay, that's worrisome. Okay, so you said yes. So that means I do have what I need to do the, um, to get the spoon. Perfect. Okay. So that means I can problem solve from here. Police badge, complain about the environmental hazard. May I see your liquor license? Of course. I always keep it in a safe place. Right next to the arm of the last cop who asked me for it. It's not that important anymore. Okay, the more anymore. I talk to this guy, the more nice I'm slightly guy, concerned that cop, with him. But a bit careless with his arms. You should not eat people's pets. That is impolite. And so is taking people's arms. Oh my gosh, I like this guy the more I talk to him. This is gonna be a really weird solution. I just know it. I'm assuming I can't just keep on drinking out of this. I better not. I have this. Badness. Yeah, nothing changed. Okay. Okay. So I have the items, etc., that I need. I better not do that. He already looks like he's about to blow his top. Do you need a broken chair leg? Don't be ridiculous, kid. This is a bar. There's an average of three of those <laughs> on every stool. This chair still has all of its legs. That's a situation I'd be only too happy to rectify. Break the chair. I'm guessing no on the pet. Can you add something to the menu for me? That's not the way things work around here, honey. You either order something that's on the menu, or you find yourself another bar. Hmm. Okay, this is a really wild guess, but we'll see what the fuck happens if I do this. Yes, I think I can learn the barkeeper's handwriting. He's a bit dyslexic, it seems. Okay, wow, that he actually works. He even writes stinky drink with three X's. Amazing. So this is interesting. What shall I write? Whoa! Holy fuck, guys! My intuition actually did something. Holy fuck. Okay, um, coffee, water, um, walk through. I'm guessing water's gonna be more likely. Or XXX. 
Well, I guess my guess is gonna be um. Probably water, but we're gonna try starting from the top. Coffee. Okay. Barkeep? Of course. A coffee, please. It's not on the menu. What? Let me see. You're right. What came okay, over me? So you just have to do it. I that don't way. even have the ingredients for that. Where the hell am I supposed to muster up Minced meat, meat for coffee? If you'll excuse me, oh, yes, I have yes. to go to the basement and fetch Holy my shit, rifle. That's terrifying. Okay, and he goes to the base. Okay, good, 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 good. Fuck, yes. That's how we get the spoon. I am a genius. I'm so happy. We got the spoon, fuckers. We got the spoon. I'm so happy. Yes. Yeah, the rifle. I'm slightly concerned that he has a rifle in this building. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with security in this building. Lots and lots of problems. All right, let's get the spoon to our friend on the other side of the building. Oh, I'm so happy. Hi, poor scared dude. You know, we're just gonna figure out. The rules were written on a typewriter. Okay, nope. He makes coffee terribly. Why does he need a rifle and minced meat? Okay, you know, this could either be the worst coffee ever, or it could be a surprising delight, a culinary masterpiece that shocks everybody with its ingenuity. You know, don't hate on minced meat coffee before you try it. Although, what's he shooting? He, he's getting a rifle. What is he shooting? Is it like... I don't think we want to know. Oh, shit, fuck. I feel like my video game just crashed. Did it just crash on me? Which is fine. It's going to be pretty fast to replay. Um, Tirud, he has a rifle in the basement. You stole his only spoon to give someone. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, okay. So it did crash on me, but that's fine. Um, because what I figured out will be able to replay really damn fast. Okay. And that's why. And I was just thinking, oh, it's about time to save. Of course it works that way. All right. No, Tokyo, you're hating on the minced meat coffee? That is so sad and depressing. No, don't hate on the minced meat coffee. See, I've never been a coffee person, but maybe this will get me to start. Okay. So now we just quickly redo this. Sorry about this, y'all. We'll do it really fast. At least now we know what to do. That should be enough. Mr. Harb I'll keep on the It's amazing how much faster the games go when you know what to do. Speed run! Okay. Love that walking animation. Alright. Can you reach the Hmm? It's much too You could pass good. This is the head up here. Alright, there we go. Shit, I should have done that right away. Maybe. What? Speeding, speeding, speeding. You! Isn't that your father's handwriting? Yes, why? Well, how? It oh. There we go. That's how you I, I think. Okay. We did that. Get the signature. Then we'll just um We don't have to worry about the pokey thing again because um I haven't solved that yet. So it's fine if I don't replay that. We'll replay it once I figure out a solution. I might do a playthrough one time with the pokey thing just so that the game establishes I've tried. Although maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Amazing! An entire hour of gameplay through will be able I to do in like four to... minutes. Sometime so sad, later. isn't it? So sad how much shit changes just, once I you can, know what you can do. That's definite. Okay.
Very good. Okay. I just need to make sure that I don't speed too fast that the game crashes on me again, because that would be totally my luck. Hey guys, we could have um, a Datalic Games party where we have, you know, food in theme. And, um... You know, we can do things like Rufus's coffee and minced meat coffee and stinky drink and um, platypus. And, you know, we could have all sorts of wonderful food items together. What does that, doesn't that just sound like a wonderful social activity with lots of delicious, scrumptious items? <laughs> Tokyo, you're so picky. Very why, why? And is hot. Hold on. Oh, hold on. It yes. So why don't you to come to a place where battery This is the group therapy for session for video game designers. If you don't I have very Okay, blah blah blah. Okay. Blah. If would you I'd like, like to very works. well pokey. Yeah. My name's and I could in was and and for my I see. Would you please tell us I was always picked next to last during next to last. What color? Ochre. Ochre. So he I said okay. ochre. You are that's so interesting. I What? That's a Why don't you Are we ready? What we Would you be If that's hello girl. I am Yeah, would you I am in the let what color? Mocha, I pull the cake. You are c if you you'd bet. Okay, there we go, and we got through that. Uh, Tokyo, I will gladly go and dress up, but I refuse to eat. Puh, who needs her? What a Cletus thing of you to say. Wimp, wimp, wimp. Okay. <laughs> nice key smashing. All right, uh -oh. and then go through this, blah, 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 blah. I'm... Uh, hello? Blah, 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 blah. What's going on? What are you... Where is... I don't... It's... Uh, all right. That... Okay, you blah, blah, blah. Something... Cool. And we're almost back to where we started. Thank you for your patience with that, and sorry about the game crashing on me. Tokyo, well, at least I don't try and serve people poison to wake them from comas. But see, that's your problem, is I can actually wake people from comas. You don't have the audacity and medical prowess to do so. Yeah, he's he. What shall I... We're gonna do... We're gonna do walkthrough. Walk through. Okay. And actually order a walkthrough. Okay. This is gonna be- see if there's another thing that he says. Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? At least he's nice enough to call me dear. One walkthrough, please. It's not on the menu. What? Let me see. You're right. What came over me? I don't even have the ingredients for that. Where the hell am I supposed? If you'll excuse. All right, get the rifle. There we go. Steal the fucking spoon and save. All right, so it actually is stopping right here for the save files, isn't it? Who really cares? Um, I'll just save from the start again. Boop. Slot one. Yes. I told you, you put them in the coma in the first place. I don't think that counts as medical prowess. But see, if you get somebody out of a coma, that means that you have no damage done. Because the net damage done is none if the person ends up out of a coma. You know, the intermediate stage doesn't matter. All right. Don't hang, 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 except for hanging on the actual clothes. Giant goal seems quite durable. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if you the have humans, you know, existing on a trash planet for so long, you do get more prone to not being entirely dead to things. 
Tokyo. So the resulting brain damage is a pure coincidence, I suppose. Here we go. There is no proof of the brain damage being in any way, shape, or form connected to me. That was around before I got involved. The next exit is approaching. All right, and we go down. Although it's not exactly a walk to down, it's a fall to down. But yeah, close enough. All right, and let's go to our buddy. I believe, yeah, that's where the buddy was. Who was digging a hole. And we'll give him his spoon. <laughs> How would you know you never knew her before she was brain damaged? Well, you know, isn't it obvious? You know, if she says that she, you know, has brain damage and it's a new thing, then obviously, you know, it happened before we met since it, you know, she told me after we met. Hello? Are That's you still terrible, down there? Terrible lack of logic. <laughs> Hola, what's up? I finally found a spoon for Please you. Please escape. Please escape with That's that, That's supposed to be a spoon? It has to be. The barkeeper stirred his drinks with it. Hmm. Well, what the hey? This will have to do until we <laughs> found a proper one. <laughs> He'd prefer the spoon Thanks over the shovel. Effort. That is pokey. That is pokey humor right there. It's dark down there. Did I see something moving just now? Still digging. I'm slightly curious. Hello? Are you still down there? Hello? Get what I need. I Get think what he's I need. preoccupied with digging. Okay, so he's digging. I guess I need to wait a little bit later. I'm going to exit the room, walk around a little bit, and then see if magically he ends up digging long enough that he can get something for me. Since he has the clay I need. See, but Tokyo, you know, you are failing to prove cause and effect. You are only showing a correlation, which, as we know in the scientific community, has nothing to do with actual proof. That's way too scientific of an answer for you, Fris. But it's the first one that popped into my head. <laughs> Dumb down the language, take away the science terms, keep the same bad logic, and we've got it. <laughs> Hello? Are you still down there? Hello? I think he's preoccupied with digging. Just a spoon, there's a pile of dirt, though. You are disgusting. Just a heap of mud. You are dust under my boots. You are dirt. Aw. I wanted to You are disgusting. Just a heap of mud. You are dust under my boots. You are dirt. Rufus getting hold of a dictionary and reading it instead of destroying it. Yeah, like that would ever happen. These yeah. spoons are going nowhere. They've gone to meet their maker. These are X spoons. Okay. Hello? Hello? I think... So he's preoccupied with digging. So I have to wait a little while, it looks like. What do you think of sand cakes, Harvey? Will it be a dangerous giant sand cake with big fangs? I'm afraid I ran out of fangs. I'll give it a pass then. Okay, so I'm trying to remember from last time what everything I needed. So I know I needed a furnace, a clay, some clay, and what was the... Th I know there's a third thing I needed. I'm trying to remember what it was that I needed those things for. Elmo was gone, but I really doubt he would have wanted it. It's not a spoon. Because it says pile of dirt, but that's not considered clay. I guess maybe I can get the dirt later. There's a lump of clay. There's a lump of clay. Okay, there we go. Um, 
What did I need the lumber clay with? I'm trying to remember from the last game. What was it I needed it for? Oh, the to make a key. Was that it? The clay is too dry to make an imprint. That's right. Okay. So why can't I pick up the clay? Okay, there it goes. I finally picked it up. Okay. I was pushing the wrong button. I accidentally clicked talk to instead of pick up. Okay, we got it. Okay. So... Play. Oh, the guy, the creepy guy was the one who told me how to make the imprint. It's not ready to start baking. It's not ready to start baking. I'll talk to the creepy guy again to remember what my third item was. All right, progress, lots of progress. Things are coming together. was in the hottie and Maudie room, which is fuck on the other side of the building. I do need to do something with Mr. Bladder, but I am going to just go straight to what's on my mind right now, which is the clay stuff. Uh-oh. Hey, it's... I'm just... Always... Maybe the... You always come up... What else? You have a... You're the... Or no... Uh... I'm really... F Hello! Okay. What's going on? What do you think? Where are all the others? Isn't that something you sh- I don't know what, but obviously the whole- It's just- <sighs> Alright, that must be- Okay. There. Continuing on. Something seems to- Right, creepy guy. Yeah, the guards are so out of fucks. Although, I mean, like, if you worked at an institution like this, wouldn't you be out of fucks? Poor Harvey's looking down. The next exit is approaching. It's actually a really cute style for drawing feet. Feet are a pain in the ass to draw. I hate drawing feet. Okay, there we go, and creepy dude was in, that was the bathrooms, I think. Ah. Oh, nope, that's the bathroom. Okay. So, it was this room. Feet suck so much. Like, I draw hands more, so I'm more comfortable with hands, but whether I'm drawing feet in boots or feet by themselves, I just hate my entire existence. They're such a bizarrely awkward shape, and the angles that we see feet from are even more awkward. Oh, I haven't done anything with the alarm button. What do you think, Harvey? Shall I press it? Yes. I'd like to see that. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be I'll my do it. Guest. I'll really do it. Fuck, the game crashed again. Although maybe that was intentional. Oh. That was, that was intentional. That's hilarious. So if you push the alarm button, you go back to the beginning. Oh, that's rude. All right, so we got the shovel. Back to creepy dude. You can see if you push the alarm, Jaya, then they're just gonna erase it in his memory and put her back to the beginning. That's basically a game over. I'm guessing that has to be on purpose. I can push it again to prove it. But I will bet anything that was on purpose. Yeah, let's check to see if it's on purpose. I'll save right before it and then I'll push the button and see if it does it again. Damn you, Pokey, indeed, if that ends up being my suspicions are right here. The next exit is approaching. I need to get balls with that guy, that's right. Yes, I'm going to do it. I need to see this for myself. I need to see if I'm right. 
Like, yeah, exactly, Tokyo. It'd be fucking hilarious and genius. So we need to we need to get this theory um, proven or unproven by now. What do you think? Shall I? I'd I'm gonna go ahead. I'll do it. I'll really go. do it. You don't have the guts. I'm serious. Chicken, chicken. Edna. What now? It doesn't seem to have okay, had so any Okay, so that was effect. actually the funniest time for glitch. Okay, so that was... Okay. I don't want it. The theory was proven wrong, but that was a fascinating as hell timely glitch. Alarm! Ring! What do you think, Harvey? Shall I... I I'm gonna... Go ahead. I'll do it. You don't... I'm still... Chicken... Edna! What now? It doesn't seem... Okay. What do you think, Carl? Hi, I'm go okay, out. I'm they have that Edna. What okay. now? It doesn't. Go to him again. Let's ask him what I. Hello, to get. princess. Getting back to your. Plan. Getting back to your plan. Even Pokey was not that evilly genius. Now we need to write to Pokey and be like, "Hey, Pokey, you should have done this." Okay. Get gold and clay. Where can I find the master key? That's easy. The guard they call Bladder has it. Bladder is on monitor watch duty in the control room on the third floor. He's far from being watchful. But when it comes to keys, he's a real bulldog. Maybe you can distract him with something. I know what I need to distract. How do I get- You'll find a way. Maybe through the lawn. There is a third. But please, don't take it. If you drop down there without skill break, and that's it. How very- Okay, so I get gold. Where do I- mm, Doctor, the only- However, Adrian- Any guards? Drug- <sighs> Okay, okay. As stu- He has a pretty- It might prove- Even if you met. Okay. Where can I- Good. The clay has been- You can't use- But maybe has been- Okay, so it's not gonna repeat what I wanted. But I, I think gold. I know Is what I have to do now. Okay. Good luck, Edna. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I've got to go. Give my regard. But I can at least talk to Illumin now and see if Illumin and I can um do the the boppy. Let's do that while I'm on this side. Oops, wrong button. Wrong location. I like Creepy a Key Man so much, I don't know why. It's because of the mystery that he has in him. I legitimately want to know more of what he knows, what he doesn't know. Like, I like Key Man. I don't trust Key Man, but that's exactly why I like him. Really cool character. And Here also very go. different from most of the characters in this game, for sure. He stands out so much. Like, you're not expecting it. Yes, Key Man is good. The next exit is approaching. Don't fall down yet. I need to talk to Lumen first. Okay. The next Someday exit is approaching. I will freak him out with moth stuff. Okay. Alu. Alu, alu, alu. Alu, alu. Alu, alu, alu. Please help me. Oh, Jockey, beautiful human. Hey, Alu! Hello, Edna. What brings you here this time? Can I have the coat hanger? Normally, I disc, but the for one thing, I'm also an alum. I have one fire. I've made a decision. I want the shock treatment. Brave child. Get me a better coat hanger, and off we'll go. Let's talk about... I have to get him... Take Maybe care. Maybe he'll just appear in the room. Let's go! Okay, I want shock go. treatment. But dear child, if you give that to me, you won't be able to get out of here. You'll have to find a better hanger first. We need hanger number one. That's oh, where the moths come in. That's moronic. 
Tell that to the inspector. It's his system. All right, well, now we understand what we need to do. Man, this game has way too many, like, requirements and loopholes and stuff that you need to jump through to get anything done. There's too many steps in every single part of the progress. Um, okay. But at least... Is there anything I can use to freak him out? You could make a great ghost costume out of him. Too bad he's out of my reach. The next exit is approaching. Bro yeah, like, okay, so I love Pokey, and, you know, writing this was a big project, and there's a reason why he, you know, jokes about him being in that therapy room. But let's be real, he did a lot of this to himself, and I say this with love, but, um... Sweetheart Pokey, did you really need to have all these different interact buttons? Because we had dialogue for look at, pick up, talk to, use, and Harvey for every single item? That's so many lines of dialogue. There's a reason why Deponia limits it to two. Here a we left go. click and a right click. Oh my gosh, like he put so many extra things in there that technically he didn't need. Like the talk to, you do not... He could have combined talk to and use or something. Which is probably what they figured out by Deponia. <laughs> okay, washing machines. Yeah. And Jaya, yeah, that explains the lines. Yes, so many lines. So many freaking lines. So I guess the next task is going to be, um, getting... <sighs> Hello? Hanger number one Are you Mr. still Fly. down there? Hola. What's up? I find... That's so... It happened. Hmm. This will... Hmm. So we go back up and then we'll get the dirt again. There's the dirt. Tokyo, you can see how this is an early game of his exactly because of how overcomplicated it is. You're exactly right, because good game design does actually require a little bit more streamlining. Um, not saying that this isn't a good game, like the more I play, the more I'm impressed with it. And I think it's really fun and I'm impressed with how much he got done for a graduate thesis project, like holy fuck. Holy fuck, I can't even imagine how stressful that would have been and how much effort that would have taken. Um, at the same time, yeah, he should have um, done a bit more limiting of himself in the game. Not only for feasibility for himself, but also just rationality for players. Okay. So now we have to figure out something to get Mr. Frock down. And we know that is probably going to have to deal with mobs. Also, I want to visit with Mr. Bladder again. Although I know it has to be with Captain Useless and broadcasting things. Have to figure out how to broadcast. Okay, we can't go to the shock therapy room yet, but I'll just see what else is in here. Just to remember, since it's been a while since I've been in this room. Helmet, lever, door, controls, and chair. And I remember last time Edna's like, I'm not doing anything. Because I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so there's nothing in here that's going to help me. If I get to a part where I'm slightly stuck, which might be soon, then I will call it a night for streaming. I don't want to do too long, and I actually want to go to sleep early, because I have plans in the morning, so I want to get a good night's rest. Alright. This one is as soaked, in and I bet it's... I'll just put it there, where it won't bother anyone. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement where I just put the fucking cups next to all the plants. So I'm just One gonna... is more than enough. Okay, so I've got the cup, and I'm just gonna do some of that, because I'm pretty sure that the plants 
plus the cups is actually an achievement. A pointless achievement, but, you know, if I end up doing that, cool for me. Because I can think of no other reason why I can do that. I'll just put it there, where it won't bother anyone. Oh shit, there's a lot of fuck in this room. Um... Anything useful? Considering moths. Can I make these fake mothballs? Um... Bubblegum spoon, coffee machine, marmalade cereal, nothing seems mom like I'm wondering if like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm feeling like in the top room in the closet there could be like moths in the wardrobe, but I feel like I didn't see any of um, those in there before, so I'm guessing it won't be in there now. Let's check. She said ketchup backwards, that's entertaining. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's a fucking mirror. Get some. Get it? Get it? It's a mirror. In this panel, we- Oh, I'm so angry. Okay, um... So, I'm gonna talk with Bladder, and then maybe I'm gonna check one more room and then call it a night, since I have played for about an hour and a half, and I've made significant progress, in my opinion. So I need to distract him with doing a broadcasting thing. Okay. Shall I get you some more water? Definitely, and decidedly not. I've already had too much. There's the fucking key. The master key! I must have it! Then how do I pull that off? It's gonna be with the antenna and this thing, so I have to... Oh, that shows so many rooms. But I'm assuming I completely change all the channels with, um... The... Thing. You kitty kitty kitty! Ha 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 ha. Okay, that was actually a good pun. Um... I hate to interrupt, but... Make it snappy. Now, about that master key... What else do you want to know? Which door doesn't the key unlock? There's this room on the second floor. The doctor always keeps it locked. He keeps the key to it in his office. Oh. But once a day, at the exact mm, same hour, that's he opens the room and locks himself inside. Yeah, this would have been useful before We playing. don't know what Dr. Marcel what keeps in there. Or what he does. But Babbitt swears he once heard sounds oh, man, coming cool from the room. Even after the fact. Uh, a whimpering. Or a sobbing. Damn. Right when the doctor was in there. Creepy, huh? <laughs> I've got goosebumps. Yeah, that's a huge hint about that key that I would have, you know, been able to figure out beforehand but oh well trial and error got me plus things what's that you're watching i'm watching the loonies usually i prefer tv but there's something wrong with the aerial again so yeah shame I on those unreliable aerials how it's aerial? not that bad the morons can be quite amusing the only problem is that you start getting a little loco yourself if you keep staring at these monitors for too long You'll see them start to form letters. You'll see the, the monitors start to form letters. Is that a hint for something? Did you drink all that water? Don't remind me. I'm bursting. But I'm not supposed to leave my post. As if anything ever happens with the loonies. But I'm pretty strict in this respect. There's a reason why they call me Bladder. Speaking of water... Oh my gosh, are we gonna try to make him think about needing to pee? Oh my gosh, this looks new. I was on vacation once at Niagara Falls. Stop talking about water already. Amazing. I would stand right next to the Amazing. waterfall for hours on end. It's like this Stop one it. Animaniacs episode where and Wacko watches things spray. when he needs to pee. Ow. 
That's such a. I and love And the anime water maniacs. tumbling and pouring. I can't believe they got away with pouring lemonade in that episode. That was so suggestive. Torrential. <laughs> Streams. <laughs> Swoosh! Mercy! Go pee, go pee, go pee, go pee. Swoosh! Please, I know it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Did you know that they found traces None of, of water work, on Mars? But let's at least entertain ourselves. Stop talking about water already. Channels that were left by runlets that washed around the rocks for eons. And see again, too Stop many lines it. of dialogue. Pokey, Pokey made it harder there for were himself. genuine creeks. Rapid streams that squeeze mega gallon after mega gallon through narrow canyons. I'm almost there. Just one more, and I'll kill you. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if you kill me. I heard there's supposed to be rain. Stop talking about water already. Yes, really. It's going to be a veritable downpour. <laughs> Stop it. It will start off as a light <laughs> drizzle, but then it will start raining cats and dogs. I'll kill you. I swear, I'll kill you. A real rainstorm will be upon us. Splish, splash. Why are you doing this to me? Splish, splash. When I get home, the first thing I'll do is have a bath. Stop talking about water already. Oh my, isn't it marvelous when your whole body is submerged in warm water? I'm Poor not guy. listening. I can't hear a word you're saying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Too bad it always takes so long for the water to fill up the tub. La 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 la. My bathtub can hold hundreds of gallons. Dooby 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 doo. Once the tub even flowed over and flooded the whole house. You see, I've been through the desert. It took hours to mop up the mess. On a horse with no name. I can't even count how often I had to wring out the mop. It felt good to be. It was all like splish, splash. She likes the word splish, Out splash. of the rain. Splish, splish, splish. Shut your bloody trap. My cousin is a firefighter. Stop talking about water already. You can't imagine how much pressure there is in those hoses. I can! I can! <laughs> the incredible column of water that's built up in there and the power that is unleashed. When finally the valve is opened. Do you want me to wet myself? Is that what you want? I can still hear him shouting today. Turn on the hose! Poor, poor bladder indeed. Turn on the hose! Will you please leave me alone? Leave me alone! <laughs> nope, we're Have not you leaving seen you alone. World with Kevin Costner? Stop talking about water already. No! Water, and more water, and even more water, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> water. I give All right, up. that was entertaining. I'm no match for your bladder. It was fun to torture Anything him. else? I'll leave you alone. Yeah, please do. It would be nice if I could, like, actually... If you stare at them long enough, you begin to see letters in them. Like Captain Useless. Sure, I'll just get the truck. Oh, Monitor Oracle, what are you <laughs> trying to tell me? In order to perceive it my messages, it is just keep looking at me until understanding is achieved. Water! Summer lit? And some are dark. It all depends on the lighting in the rooms they monitor. Some are what? Do we 
we have to turn off the light switches. They begin to form letters. Do I have to turn every single... Okay. Um... We're doing this again. Somewhat? Oh. In she, cause she just said some are light, some are dark. That makes me wonder if it's almost the light switches that I have to deal with. But I thought for sure it was gonna be with the TV and getting the signal working for that. So maybe it's a combination of both. Look, Harvey, I can see letters in the monitors. You are one strange bird. Crazy, maybe, but a bird? cock a doodle do. So. If you stare at Some are lit and some are dark. It all depends on the lighting in the rooms they monitor. Is that important? Or is that just commentary? I know I need to do something with the fucking antenna. But what's it with the letters? Why is it letters? Is it because of the comic book? I don't think I can spell things with this. I mean, I can see every single room. I know I can change those light switches off. But the question is, if I turn all of those off, does that do anything? This looks complicated. That's big and heavy and wired with a thousand cables. I'd rather leave it here if you don't mind. Warp factor five, energize. Star Trek reference. Hands off! What do you make of this, Harvey? We don't need that. We have everything under control. Okay. So that's interesting. game can't be so complicated that you actually spell something in the monitors with the light and off switches. Water closet. Jaya. Or whatever the German equivalent of that would probably be. That's my old room. I used to be scared of cabinets, when I was a child. Okay. I used to be Okay. I'm not seeing... That seems to be important. Now, what is this? That's my father Whoa. right there in the picture. This article states my father is a murderer. That is a horrendous lie. Okay, this is... Okay, here we go, guys. I'm reading this out loud for you, even though I'm pretty sure you can see this. But this is really something. 41-year-old um, Mattis Conrad turned himself in... That's interesting. To the authorities in the wee hours of today, even though he readily confessed having murdered an 8-year-old boy whose name has not been released... We know who that is. Um, for matters of privacy, he will probably face capital punishment. The alleged killer did not name a motive for the slaying. If the prosecution follows through with the death penalty and is swiftly applied, the single father leaves behind his sole daughter, Edna, who's been put under custody of Dr. Horatio Marcel, the head of the local asylum for the mentally ill. So this is actually really interesting because we get to see a picture of what her father looks like again. I know we saw him in the past. Um, I've been wondering for a while who that guy is in the solitary confinement. Um, I don't know. Yeah, shit indeed. 
<laughs> you forgot about that guy. Good job. That's beautiful, Tokyo. Yeah, that's a little terrifying. Um, use cabinet and shut the door. Okay. Um, okay. One other location. Oh, I can't go into that room anymore. You know, Captain, I realize Captain Useless can't be the solution. Because if Captain Useless was the solution, then I would have been locked out of progressing if I forgot to grab it before I um, locked the guy in here. So Captain Useless can't be the answer to the solution. I just realized that. Otherwise, that would be a very terrible um, instance of soft locking it anyway. Okay. Watering doesn't do any good now. Okay, so I can't put it next to that plant. All right. Well, we are going to call it a night and do a quick save of the game. And I will get back to you guys next week. Um, refreshing my brain for a week will hopefully give me some new ideas about how to progress. There are multiple things that we need to be do at least, so we have multiple checklists to pay attention to. So, yeah. Yeah, Jaya, I know what the cameras do. So, um... Yeah. Pretty sure that we're just gonna put the water cup over here. To continue on with water cupping things I'll just unnecessarily. Put it there, where it won't and bother anyone. And do a save. And yeah, yes, it has been a fun time. Thank you so much for the company. I always enjoy playing these games with you guys. And um, continuing on forward with this story. It's it's fun to experience the game together um, in a new environment for some of us. Tokyo, I know it's been a while for you, so I'm guessing there's lots of... Oh, I did not remember this moments for you. Um, anyway, yes, we're going to call this a night. So I am going to stop the stream. I'll be around on Discord because I want to fill in, surprise, surprise, a few more hours of work. As always, I will be continuing with my regular stream schedules, which means that there will be Night in the Woods on Tuesday for my next stream. And I will be doing a stream on Friday, next Friday, to continue on with Edna and Harvey to figure out such mysteries as how to make a key, how to distract Mr. Bladder, and all of those other fun tasks that we are apparently doing all at once because game design. All right, there we go. All right, see you guys around. Thanks so much again.